Hi guys, this is Sean again. Um, what we're gonna do is today is we're gonna work on Dell Optiplex 3040. It's a new machine. It's a pretty good machine. Let me show you uh, what it is. Uh, what we're gonna do is install SSD hard drive in it and install Windows 10. So let me turn the computer all on and let me show you what kind of processor in it first and then we'll go from there. So I just uh, turn it on and it's a pretty fast machine so it will not take that long. Press F2, uh, we are in the BIOS now and let me show you uh, system information. So you go down and it tells me it has Intel Core i7-6700 CPU, 3.4 GHz. It has two stick of 8 GB RAM. And uh, if you go down, and it will show you, it does not have um, hard drive. It has a CD-ROM, no hard drive. And it tells you the MAC address right there. So uh, what we're gonna do is turn it off and uh, open the computer and it's pretty easy to install so open the computer install window 10 and uh, ssd hard drive with so turn it off make sure you unplug it from the power because i had a once a uh, bad experience i forgot to turn it off and that uh, did not work uh, good uh, with the computer okay so let's set up the camera camera is good all right now side panel has two screw one on the bottom one on the top you open the side panel then you need to take the front cover off so front cover off you have clips three clips and that will come off easily right there okay put those to the side and there is a clicker in the middle you press that and pull this whole thing up and here you go you see um, there are this is the SSD is right here and the other one is a regular hard drive so you take the caddy out for SSD and let me go grab the SSD uh, this is the SSD hard drive uh, it's 128 so you put that in there either side right there this is done put this back in there so there are the big black one is the power so you put in the power and this is the data so you put the data in there all right that's all now I'm gonna shut this back down it fits okay now we need a front cover front cover Make sure very gentle with it because it's cover is it's very light and it can break. Okay, this did not fit right. Alright, that's bad. Alright. And then the side panel. So side panel. Alright. Side panel put in correctly. Two screws, one on the top, one on the bottom. Now, what I'm gonna do, just one second, let me go get the USB or in the tent. So this is window 10 as you know I have a USB for window 10 I'm gonna install it in the front and put it in right here and then what I'm gonna do is 
put the camera up that way you guys can see start the computer press F2 well first I'll plug in the power that all right power is plugged in now start the computer and for boot menu you gotta press F12 so keep pressing F12 So it'll take you to the boot menu, you see SSD on the top and the USB on the next down. So click there, takes a few minutes, less than a minute I think. It will take you into the window and then you do a few clicks and it will take you straight to the, so USB, as I said earlier uh, in the other video, that I'm gonna show you how to make a USB bootable drive. It's very easy. Um, show you step by step. Um, so you should make one for yourself. All right, now we got Windows 10. Press next. Press install now. Next thing is, I will tell you Windows 10 DLA. Press next. Uh, accept. Press next. Because it's a new install, custom. And if you see anything in there, you just delete that and delete that. If you if you don't want anything from your old hard drive, so you delete that. All right, press next. And uh, because this SSD takes uh, less than the regular hard drive, um, so I'll be back and show you uh, what next step's gonna be. So that way you know um, you will not get lost. So, all right, I'll be right back. Okay, um, so we got to this screen. Um, you click what's the region, press yes and click uh, keyboard how you like it press yes uh, keyboard layout if you want to add one but I think the regular keyboard is good so you go click yes uh, we don't have internet connected so uh, so because the internet is not connected so you click on continue with limited setup you go do that and you gotta name your computer whatever you like I press X Go next, password, you want to put it in. Press next. This is a setup, how you want your computer to be set up, location, uh, data, whatever you want it to do. Uh, it's up to you, you can read over it. It's a uh, simple advertisement ad or something. So you press accept. Cortana, help you get, so yes, it, sometimes it does help, so press yes. It um, takes about uh, two minutes, maybe less than two minutes. Uh, it will. Um, I'm gonna wait to show you what screen you're gonna be at, and um, we'll show you the window uh, main screen, uh, and then I'll show you what to do when you get to that screen because Windows 10 updates quite a bit. So what you do is. Make sure your window is updated uh, so you type in uh, on the search bar I'll show you when we get there that way you know what I'm talking about um, it's a pretty good computer um, 16 GB RAM on i7 uh, it's pretty fast so you can upgrade to more you can go up to 32 there's two more slots available in this computer I think and um, you can go to 32 and uh, I just put in 128 GB uh, SSD you can go up to 240 or 512 or 1 TB depends um, what do you want to do so all right we are almost there all right so uh, let me show you you go to this um, uh, right click on the window and go to the system I'll show you 
um, what you got in there, okay? And um, same thing with the hard drive, you click on the uh, folder, click on my computer, and it will, sh it will show you right here, 120, 118 GB, and available is 90. All right, so what you do in the search bar, type in update window, all right? And it will check for updates. You click that, and because the internet is not connected, so it's not gonna go through, but when the internet is connected, you click on check the updates, and it will show you all the updates until the up, uh, now whenever you download the uh, OS and it takes quite a bit about 30 minutes to update all the files and drivers and uh, then you're good to go if uh, you have any questions please uh, write below on the comments and I will more than happy to answer them and subscribe uh, for the new um, videos and if you click the like button that will help a lot uh, and you know what why I'm saying that so thank you so much you have a good day